Hi there everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial with me, The Drew Gamer. So recently I wanted to play some classic Dinosaur Warriors and Cyber Warriors games, specifically Dinosaur Warriors 4 and 5 and Cyber Warriors 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2. So I got the PCSX2 emulator and I got them all working, all fine and everything. The only issue that I had was getting the Extreme Legends versions of the games, which gives you more characters, more weapons, depending on the games. Um, I couldn't get them to work with importing the original data. So having a look around, there's a lot of tutorials on this way specifically that I've got on the screen right now. Um, now this version is kind of like, well, if you do it at first, it's kind of complicated, but then once you've done it, you know what you're doing. You have to basically rip the, the disc and put them into the same folder and then make a new image. But sometimes it just didn't work or there was issues with it. And then there was issues where the game would crash and stuff. Um, so I, f I did some more research and I found this way and I'm going to link this in the description. But all you need is PCSX2 1.60 swap fix and the source code. You don't need both source codes, you just need one or the other. And then once you've got those, put them into your directory of where your PCSX2 emulator is installed. And then here's like the, the two zip folders. So just extract both of them. I've already done that. So we've got here's the the source code and then this is the emulator and you'll want to use this version of the emulator because this version won't work with this. So we're going to open it up and I'll cut back once I've got somewhere with two extreme legends loaded just so I can show you what's going on. All right, we're back. So as you can see, we have the Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends loaded. We've got Story Mode, Free Mode, Mercenary Roll Mode, Vault, <laughs> Options, and Import. And just to show you that we only have the six characters from Extreme Legends. So we go to Import now, and this is usually where it got a bit complicated on the original version. And then what you want to do is you want to come down to here, to your taskbar, go over to the emulator and originally when you did it originally you go no disc and then just keep switching it between that until it worked uh but now if we select yes go to cdvd iso selector we're on samurai 2 extreme legends so just go to samurai 2 and it'll say importing data please open disk tray and now we're going to story mode, as you saw Nobunaga Oda there, so you can see that it's worked. We've got all the characters unlocked for the Extreme Legends version of Sign Warriors 2. And what I'll do now is I will cut away and I'll load each version of the game so you can see it and just show you that they're, they all do work. But make sure that once you uh, like downloaded a version or made a version of your game, that it is the same region. So if you have a European version, make sure you have a European version of both games. So Samurai 2 Europe, Samurai 2 Extreme Legends Europe, or American or Japanese or whatever. Uh, and I will cut back with the others so you can just see that they work. All right, here we have Dinosaur 4. So let's load the original. And just do exactly the same thing. C, D, V, D, and Dinosaur 4. Now, Dinosaurus for Extreme Legends. And now we have Musa Mode, Free Mode, Legend Mode, Extreme Mode. So that works. Let's go over to the next one. All right, here we're on Dinosaurus 5. We'll load the original. Let's go. Let's do exactly the same thing. And there we have Musa Mode, Free Mode, Legend Mode, Destiny Mode, Extreme Mode. So that works. Then we'll do Samurai Warriors 1 real quick. Uh, here we are in Samurai Warriors 1 for the last one. Let's go to Import. Please open Disk Tray. Uh, so select uh, Samurai Warriors. Open Disk Tray and Samurai Warriors Extreme Legends. There we go. And now we should have every character in here as well. So yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope this helps um, because the way that you originally do it can be quite confusing. And 
I hope this version just helps you a little easier and it works with all the versions that I've shown you. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.